Hey guys, it's Nature coming to you live from Mirage Island. Nah, no, I'm in China, but whatever. Let's pretend I'm in Mirage Island. Lol, RP. We're going to show you guys how to build a house today. Where to build, the zones you need to build in, common mistakes, and different types. So let's start with the basics. We are in Mirage Island at the Harani Docks. This is the East Faction. So here we are. This is the cheapest house. House. House! It costs 15 Gilda Stars. As you can see, it costs one stone, one number, one stone. Pretty cheap. Three gold a week in taxes. Pretty simple. It costs three gold to place it as well, by the way. So make sure you have three gold when you want to place your pattern. Now, this house is very small. I'll show you guys the interior. It's very, very small. Not a lot of farmland. It's it's a cheapo. You have a little bed, a couple of little thingamajiggers. It's really not that, not that great. My personal favorite is this one over here. Why? Because it's farmland. Lots of farmland. Oh, look at it. It's everywhere. You can fit lots in here. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. So much space. Ah, oh, gorgeous. This one costs 50 Gilda Stars. Gilda Stars are the currency you get from cross ocean trade routes come next patch. So, it costs 6 gold in taxes. A little bit more expensive. The packs, however, are much more expensive. 10 stone, 5 iron, 5 lumber. That won't come cheap, especially in the early game. But the benefits from the farmland are huge. And the taxes are quite low. Next we have the next size house, which is like the this medium size. This is small. Small. Medium. 100 guildas. Even though this one is quite large in space, it's counted as a small. 100 guildas. There's no real benefit from this one to that one. You get a, a little bit more farm space. That's it. It's not that great. And I have more space inside the house, but it really it's, it has no real benefit to your character. I'm all, I'm all min maxing and well, you may, maybe like, you like the look, you can buy it, but for most people, sane people, it's not worth it. This is the 500 Mansion. Has a couple floors, we'll go inside. Remember, it's like Ikea. You can buy whatever you want in the house. I want this. Buy it. I want this table. Buy it. Go upstairs. La 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 la. You can build little pictures. Hey, cutie. Has a deck. I mean, this is probably one of the end game houses you'll buy. Nothing to be buying the first at least couple months of the expand, the launch or beta or not. It really isn't that worth it. The next house is the Aqua House. Hi. This house I think is pretty awesome. I'm stuck in the wall. Oh, this is embarrassing. Can I get over? Yay! The Aqua House costs 500 Nuez Tears. Remember, the Nuez Tears are being removed in the next patch, so probably costs Gildas. 500 maybe, maybe more, depending if they adjust the prices. This costs relatively cheap in packs, only 5, 5, 10. It's pretty small in size. There are only certain zones can have this kind of house. But the benefit of this house is you have a Aqua Farm underneath, which saves you tax money, a lot of tax money, actually. You can plant there for free, and well, you only have to pay your regular house cost. You know, for every plot of land you have, the higher your tax is. And this is account wide, by the, by the way. So you can't have alts with like 10 houses, you know. 10 alts with, with a house each just doesn't work that way. Your taxes will be crazy. It's exponential after three plots. So, I'll head over to show you where to buy the aqua farm. I guess it counts as housing, kind of. You can buy that right over here. For 15 Gilda Stars. You can often buy it on the auction house as well. Sorry, 14 Gildas. 3 gold a week. So that that, au that Aqua house will save you money. Now, this is the Western style housing. This is the Nuyen side of the island. You have your cheapo house. These ones have different costs, by the way. So see, that this one has lots of stone. It costs stone, stone lumber. Well, this one has lots of lumber. It costs stone. Lumber, lumber. Hmm, interesting. So, you know, one will cost more than the other, pretty much. But choose the one you like. You know, maybe you want all wood, maybe you want stone, you want the rustic color, you want green, you want blue. This is the medium sized house. That's small, by the way. 150 guildas. This is the one I have. Very expensive. 
And as you can see, the materials are quite large. 15, 5, 5, 15 gold a week. It's not cheap. Plus 150 guilders is, is not easy to get. You have the larger style houses. You have 500. I'll take you inside, but it's pretty self explanatory. You can do that when you're in game yourself. 500 for that one. So you can see there's a lot of styles in the west here. 100. This is only one floor, though. One, the 150 is two floors. 300. Has a nice spacious window. Another two floor. It's like 300, 300. This is probably 300. That one's probably 300. They're almost all the same, right? There's kind of variations on a theme. So that's 300. This is the, this is the end all. This is like I have everything in the game. What do I build? This is what you build. It's a keep. It costs a thousand guild of stars. That's a lot. That is a lot. As well as 100 stone packs, 20 iron, 20 or sorry, 50 lumber. That's not cheap, but the farming area is huge around it, which I guess is all right. Mostly, it's it's like a guild house pretty much. You can put all your crafting stations. I'll show you guys a house later on. One that someone has already built in Alpha. It's big. So basically, you walk up to here, you'll buy your pattern, purchase the patterns in your inventory, and you will TP out of here. You can log out and log back in, it'll automatically TP you out, or you can take the portal, which is over here. And hopefully, I won't crash. Because the game has lots of crash bugs. Try it, please fix. Yay, we didn't crash. Alright, so. I'll show you guys my house. I'll show you guys the insides. It, one of the most important things about a house is that you can have a bed. Every 24 hours, you can sleep on the bed. 22. I don't know. You can sleep on the bed. And regen some of your labor. The cheapest bed gives you 50. The best bed gives you 70. Not a big difference there. But it's it's nice. It gives you a little boost. You can farm a little bit quickly with the buff it gives you. So, now you have your pattern. Let's say you bought the small one. You can only build in specific zones. Well, the zone I'm in right now, I need to actually uncheck some of these. All right, it is for medium and large size houses. So houses over the 50 gilded cottage, pretty much. You can build this style house. Show you guys my house. If you present your small house, you want to look for these. These plots are zoned for any type of house or field. You can build your house, you can build your farms nearby. For these houses, you cannot build your farm beside them. It's very important to note. So while the house looks cool, it's going to be a long way from your farm. This is the keep over here. I'll go to this one here. Looks like they're using it to sort trade packs. Their doors closed, but their windows open. Ha <laughs> ha! My thievery skills. So we've flown into their house. I guess they've left their window open. I can't do anything because it's not set to permissions. I'll show you that later. They have their expensive bed. They have. I guess I'm gonna put a mural up here. They have their bar, little flavor, piano, crafting stations. These are all stations you can use to improve your professions and whatnots. So it's more of a guild style house. Pers for personal, you know, this is your chest for space. I'll show you that in my house. For a solo player, you're probably not going to build this. You'll have, you'll have maybe like five of these or so in a large guild. You don't need that many. Remember that space on the server is limited. There are there are, are also areas for cottages only. So, this is my house. If you want to TP to your house directly, you need to go up to your fireplace, light the fire, and you need a memory ink from a general merchant. And you can bind your waypoint. So if you go to your TP book here, recorded sites, this is my townhouse. I can TP to my townhouse directly, which is kind of cool. Alright, so this is your bed with my creepy body pillow. You can sleep here. You can get the labor buff, you can use your chests, store stuff inside, it's a very small chest, very cheap, I'm, I'm broke. My, my house is pretty crappy, I don't have it blinged out or anything. 
I regret building this one. It costs too much. As you can see, my house... The taxes cost 27 gold a week. Well, if I had that the small you know, farmhouse, I'd probably be paying around 10. So, you know, 17 gold a week really adds up if you can play for a month, you know? So you can see there's different permissions for the house. Private is only you. Guild, anyone in your guild can access your house. Family is a group of players you enable to have access. Open to public is a bad idea. Don't click that ever, ever. People can just trash your house, take all your stuff. Remember, kill your little chickens. No. Um, yeah, you can also click the prevent removal of decor. To stop people from, to say you add someone to your family, and you don't want them to touch your kraken tentacle. I'll take that. You can uh, set it so they can't actually remove everything. Remove anything. So yeah, that's how to how to uh, buy your house pattern. Now, how to plant it? How to plant it? For that, I will log on my alt, which has a farm pattern, which is pretty similar to a house. Same general concept. Remember that getting your land is very, very important. Alpha is overpopulated, so all the land's taken. Every plot in the game is taken right now. Hopefully, on launch, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get land. Let's put a little alt here. Let's camp beside a house. And like with boats, you have to build in a certain order. I'll show you guys that in a second. You must put your materials in a certain order. So yeah, small houses are in, in basically general areas. Cottages in cottage areas or general areas. And mediums large, you're probably going to plant those in the large areas. Although, if you find a plot, you can plant a large house in any, in, in any zone area. But finding space for that will be pretty difficult. Alrighty. So. I'm all the way over here. Crap. I'm at some aqua houses. So that, that, that's under construction. Maybe I can maybe I can do it here. So if I want to use the pattern, which I need to wait for because I guess a small delaying game. I can mouse over. I can't play because it's underwater, obviously. See how there's little posts here? That's your out of bounds area. You cannot it, it basically shows you in what zone you can plant. If you're creative in planting, you can block other players from planting in certain areas, which is kind of a mean thing to do, but people do it all the time. Let me zip over here and see if I can show you guys how to plant on land. This is the aqua housing area only. Aqua houses are cool, but in the long run, they will not out, they, they won't out income a cottage. The cottages are just way too powerful. I, I strongly recommend making a cottage if you're interested in making money in this game. If you're gonna RP with your friends and don't really give a crap, then yeah, sure, make make sure medium sized house early on. I, sh I regret it so much. Probably my biggest mistake in the game it was the house. You also want to stake your plot early, very early. You don't want to wait too long and, oh, there's no space, or, oh, my, my house is, you know, two zones over from my farm. That's really going to piss you off. All right, so this is, this is an any housing zone. These plots are zoned for any house or field type, which is cool. So any house or field in the game can be placed here. So you can see we have a medium sized house, we have a small house, small, small, we have large farms, we have small farms. So, let's dismount here and use our pattern. Oh look, I found a plot immediately. These small scarecrows are not very good. But, oh, I can't plant here, right? So, outside of bounds, obviously not. Look at the posts here. You know, often, often you'd be like this, oh, it's one little square that's blocking you. So, you know, farmer is just like a house pattern. You just right click on it, 
Instead of instead of this scarecrow here, you'll have a house square, which is quite quite larger. But it is the same concept. You'll click. It'll say, you know, do you want to rotate it? You can rotate your house however what you want using your mouse wheel and shift or sh whatever it says here. Click again for the confirmation. The base tax. How many buildings you already own? Total taxes. Then yeah, you'll click build. And it will charge you money, and I'm not going to do it because I'm poor. But that is how to build a house. Now, certain zones will fill up first. Uh, Unisteria on the coast, Medevi, Veneniel, Solus. These are probably the most popular ones. They're on the coast, and they're very, I can say, lucrative, you know? Unister is very close to Freedic Island. Solus is, P this is P P P PvP protected. Vanille has good trade runs. You want your farm near a trade station, so you know these are the best spots. These ones are PvP, PvP zones. This one is a PvP PvP zone, but it's not that bad. These ones are terrible. The mobs are high level. You're gonna have a bad time if you build your house there. The one, the one exception is Windscour, in that there's a little uh, path, hidden path right here. I'll show you guys that sometime. You can actually zip over to Archimiris. Typically, you go Windscour. To Rookborn, to Falcor, uh, is it Rookborn? Yeah, Rookborn, to Falcorth, to Tiger Spine, to Arkham. But you actually go from Windscour to Arkham using a little trick. So it, it's actually kind of lucrative to have a house here, and there's a lot of area in here for a house. It's just you know, there's different zones. I'll go over this in, in the farming video. You know, there's, there's temperate, arid. Subarctic and tropical, and each one has better bonuses for different animals. This guy's putting bears in, in a temperate zone, so the bears will grow slower. So, yeah. That is how to build a house in Arc Age! Remember that there's certain steps to building a house. Maybe you need to go lumber, iron, fabric, you know. You must go in a specific order. Can't find any here, fortunately. But basically, you'll, you'll go up to the house, and you'll press F, and you'll have oh, construction stages, and it'll show you in which order you need to build the materials. This is probably the most important thing I'm saying in the whole video, because I'm saying it last. Maybe, maybe this will work. Open. See? Okay, here we go. So, it goes stone to iron. You must go from stone to iron. You cannot put iron first. You must make the stone first and then make the iron. If you don't do that, it will not work and you'll screw yourself because you have a pack you can't even use. So, yeah. Make sure to do that in the right order. It's extremely important. Building boxes to this guy. And, of course, have a good time with your house. Building it out. Invite your friends. Use it for farming space. Oh! Final, final tip. You cannot farm in your housing area until it's built. It will not be PvP protected. So, if your house is not built, I can walk up and I can take your stuff. Now, this guy's house is built, so I can't take his stuff. So, yeah, it's a very common mistake. Be very careful with that. Enjoy your houses, guys. I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, if I forgot something, if something's still confusing you, type in the comments below. Come to my live stream at twitch.tv slash ignitar. I'll answer your questions gleefully and happily. If you have any, com any uh, suggestions for other videos, let me know. I can whip up a tutorial. So, yeah. Have a good day, guys, and I will see you in Arcage. Please make trade packs. I want to kill you and take them. Mwahaha. Peace.